Hey there YouTube, welcome to Big Mike Beard Wisdom. So today, I got a new toy. <laughs> so basically, I've got this little sound meter that I ordered. And I just got it off of Amazon on the, one of the recent Prime Days. But basically it's made by this Protmex. And then, which I guess is ProTechInstruments.com. And it's a sound meter. So basically it's reading decibels. And right now it's set up to read in decibels on an A scale. The A scale takes the sound wave and factors it into something that's more like how you, the human ear hears it. So it's not an overall even rating. It's something where it's going to be a little bit skewed. So it's working with a little bit of fuzzy logic. But this, this one came with batteries, which is pretty cool. And it came with a nice case. And as you can see, it's running right now. And then this supposedly samples about once every half a second. So like the birds chirping, it's not necessarily catching the birds chirping every time. But as long as I keep talking, it's probably going to measure me continuing to talk. And I'm only about a foot and a half away from the meter and probably just a foot away from the camera. And then real quick, I was looking on Pulsar's website when I basically I just Googled like decibel level chart. But basically you want to try and keep the sound as far down as possible. And normally right around this 85 decibel mark is when like hearing loss can occur when you're exposed to it for like long periods of time. And it's a pretty interesting amount of information they have on the site because it says that an increase of three decibels is a doubling of sound intensity to the human ear, but you need to see an increase of 10 decibels in your decibel meter to be heard as double the level of noise by the ear. So as their example, they had 90 decibels with an A rating or the, on the A scale is 10 times more intense than 80 decibels on the A scale. So this is pretty cool, the kind of information they have on here. I kind of wish the GoPro would focus a little bit more, but I guess it's, it is what it is. <laughs> So real quick, we'll get some sound measurements for different things. <laughs> it's funny how much it fluctuates with all the different noises around. All right, so we're rolling a trash can. garage door Garage door from inside. Side door. Just letting the door slam. Mm. I don't know if I picked it up on that sample rate. Neighbor's vehicle starting. I'm 
Tomatoes growing. I guess neighbor's truck driving away. <laughs> so this will be kind of interesting because there's a lot of noises. My truck, cold start. And a bonus car door slam. Neighbor mowing the lawn four houses down. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This will probably be the first of many. <laughs> Playing with the sound meter. Feel free to like and subscribe. I'll check you guys next time. Quiet in the office. Rubbing the housing. Talking at a conversation level. Foot and a half away. <laughs> Alrighty. Now that we're done with the trash can, we can put the dog poop away. Dog poop hitting the bottom of the trash can. <laughs>